we've learned how to fetch data from our database now let's go to the next operation which is updating the data from our database so let's update a fetch data from our database let us fetch a student with an id of seven so student is equal students i'm not making the mistake this time students dot objects dot get ib equals seven or we can use primary key equals seven it's still the same id primary key it's still the same so students but it fetches the students with an id of seven so the students dot first name So student of first name equals Dan. Let's work with for now. Let's let's work with the school. Let's fetch this school. Oh no, I think three. What's the name? Okay, Greenfield. Now let's update this Greenfield name. Let's give it probably Bluefield. Yep, let's, let's do that. So name equal Bluefield. So school dot name equal. So we can see that this the name of the school changed to Bluefield, but it's still not saved to our database. So we still need it, we still need to save it to our database. So to save to our database, we do school dot save. And when we go to our we can see blue field instead of green field. So this shows how we can update a record in our database. Now, updating a foreign key is quite different from updating a, uh, a normal character field or a normal integer field. Now to update a foreign key, instead of passing a string here, you pass in an object an object you create so let's 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 do that now that's the reason why i opted to use school instead of student first so now let's let's try to update record a student record so students equals students dot object dot get id equals seven oh. Oh, didn't spell the object well. So let's see. So then the name equals what? Then the first name rather. Yeah. Done. So then what? Cool. Okay, so I think I need to show you this. This will return an object instead of, yes, it will return an object instead of the actual name of the school. Now, for it to return the name of the school, you need to do student.school.name. So, white field high. Let's change this to blue field. So, to change this, we just need to student dot school equal so instead of using blue field let's see what will happen we'll, we'll get an error but let's see what error we'll get so we use blue field so blue field says 
student.school must be a school instance. So it must be an object we are passing to the student.school attributes. So students dot to be equal to school. So now let's see students dot school dot name. Okay, so what's wrong with my typing today? Sorry, please tell me. I think I'm typing too fast. Okay, so we can see that the name has been updated from white field to blue field, but we haven't saved it yet because I want to show you something in the admin panel. So let's go to, I think, Dan. Uh, was it Dan? Yeah, I think Dan. So this. So it is still white field here. So let's save it. So students dot save. Oh, let's reload. Change this to blue field. So that is how to update a student foreign key record. So instead of passing a string or an integer, you pass in an object. When you do not pass an object, you get this error that says. Um, it must be a to, um, a, an instance rather. So it must be an instance. So now we've talked about how to update. Let's talk about how to delete. So let's delete the student then. I mean, um, okay, so student equals, okay, student is already done. I don't need to fetch it. So in case you are doing this from scratch, always remember that you need to fetch it before you delete. But because we are working on it already, we already have it um, imported. We do not need to import our models. We do not need to fetch again. But always remember that you still need to fetch before you delete. So to delete our student's record, so just student dot simple so now the student with id of seven which is done is no longer in our database so let's see what happens when we refresh so it says student with id seven doesn't as it perhaps it was deleted so that is how to delete an item for your from your database now deleting uh foreign keys as you can guess by now is actually very very different now why because if you remember when we talked about the models i mentioned something about this on delete models or cascade what happens when you try to delete this and the student that is associated with it what happens to the student that is associated, associated with it? Does the student get deleted also? Now, let's see what happens when we try to delete a student, a school. So, let's see if we fetch the school. So, school object three. So, let's see, I think school object three should be white field, yeah? Let's see school dot name. Okay, blue field. Let's see what happens when we delete blue field. School dot delete. So it deletes the school modem record then also deletes the student that is associated with it. So it deletes the student that is associated with it. So if we have to reload, we would not see blue field here. Neither would we see the student that is associated with blue field here. So let's see. So all the students associated with blue field get deleted also. So it, deletes, it deleted three students and we have Daniel left. So let's see what happens when we change this from cascade to protected and uh, protect
See, so. So we need to, since we altered our model, we need to make migrations. So Python manage hide make migrations. So Python. So we've been able to apply this migration to our database. Uh, let's go over to our shell. Okay, great. Now we still have to exit the shell because if we do not exit, the changes will not be reflected in our shell. So, so Python manage your pi shell. Okay, great. So first thing first, we import our models. Then we fetch both the school that we want to delete. So school, all, school dot objects dot get has an idea of okay we can't see the idea here but let's just use the name name equals white field the school dot name white field now let's try to delete white field let's see what, what error we we'll get It says cannot delete some instances of model school because they are referenced through protected foreign keys students.school so as you can see because we use the protect um, attributes here or the protect parameter here we cannot delete it even if we try to delete our school we are not even trying to delete our student model we are just trying to delete our school model so we cannot delete our school model because the model that is associated with it has a protect attribute on it. So it is protecting, it is shielding it from being deleted. Even if we go to our admin panel and try to delete it. So let's come here, here, delete. So we get the same error that says cannot delete school Deleting the selected school will require deleting the following protected related object, Daniel. So because of that, because of this protect um, attribute here, we cannot delete the model. So when, when we change this to cascade, we should be able to delete. So let's just do that. So our final computation. So Oh, I was supposed to make migrations first. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now let's try to delete. So remember. Let's go. So let's import it from our app models. Import student school. Now, let's fetch our school. Mm 
name is equal to what's the name? Let's see. White field high. Let's just copy this and paste it here. You can see that we deleted two items from our database. The first one is our app.students and our app.school. So when we go over to this place, we will no longer see either the student model or the school model. So this is one way we can delete, or this is the way we can delete models or our records in our database. So we've talked about the four operations that can be performed on our models. We've talked about the create operation. We've talked about the read operation. We've talked about the update operation, and we've talked about the delete operation. So if you have any questions regarding any of these operations, please feel free to reach out to any of the mentors and we'll get back to you or we'll assist you rather. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.